Okay, we're on uh, we're on uh, in Nanaimo here today. It's raining and it's actually storm a little bit out there, so uh, we're inside doing some wiring uh, checks and uh, cleaning things up here. And uh, what, what we're going to do today, actually, here is get rid of the uh, old mobile, the old unit in CP1050 mobile phone unit, which is uh, tucked up in here, and it uh, still has uh, all the wiring bundle, which is just taking up room here. So <clears throat> we're going to get rid of that. We're going to keep the antenna wire. But we're going to get rid of the power unit here uh, just to clean things up. Uh, but what I wanted to point out today is uh, <clears throat> some people uh, never look for their flashers until it's too late. And then the dang thing doesn't make any noise. So uh, in this case, the flasher on the Airstream Clipper is buried. The signal flasher is buried in behind the center console. It's in that corner behind the fuse panel there. And you pretty much have to take out the center console to access it. So um, uh, the four-way flasher is is uh, mounted right there. or I have it out at the moment, but that's where it goes. Okay, so what I wanted to point out uh, today was uh, on my on my flashers, I rigged up a Radio Shack buzzer uh, just to give enough uh, noise that I know my flash is running. So there's your Radio Shack buzzer. And uh, I just have soldered it to the uh, prongs of the flasher. So that ha that happens to be the four-way flasher. I'll just turn on the uh, the signal flasher here, and you'll hear it uh, it working there. So that's just loud enough that that you're not going to go down the road with your uh, uh, signals accidents accidentally uh, on, uh, which which could cause uh, accident or dangerous situation.